Hi guys, so I'm day four of five with the Zio at home retinol peel using the advanced radical night repair and the renewal creme to help soothe the skin um, I've been doing some shorter videos and I just want to take a little bit of a longer video because I'm starting to really see a lot of reaction right now and I think it's really important to kind of go over um, what's going on and why I'm looking like this so um, <clears throat> Often with retinols, um, people's biggest uh, problem or biggest issue with using a retinol is that uh, your skin will react and a lot of people don't like that discomfort and some people think like, oh, I'm having an allergic reaction or um, I don't like that I'm peeling. And I can totally understand that you wouldn't want to peel um, because I'm walking around going to appointments and um, I went for dinner last night at a friend's house and... Um, and met some people for the first time looking like this. So <laughs> um, it's not ideal. Uh, but having said that, um, this is an amazing reaction and this is a really amazing treatment. I don't think that there's anything else um, in terms of like an at-home peel where you are going to get results like this. I don't think that you can go anywhere and um, purchase products to get these type of results because this is uh, really similar to what you'd be seeing with some in-office peel treatments. So um, you can see some red blotchiness on my neck right now. I've taken some still photos as well today um, where you can really see uh, the peely skin. You can, it's hard for me to get an image here, um, but you can see in here there's some like peeling skin, a, a lot of redness, a lot of peeling skin around my eyes and in this area. Um, I've been, pulling a little bit of the retinol to under my eyelid. You do have to be very careful in the eye area, but I have been pulling a little bit in to treat this area and it's very tight. The skin is tight and um, almost feels like very smooth, like really dry. Um, everything is itchy, especially my neck. I've been pulling some of the retinol down onto my chest as well. Um, and it's all very itchy. Uh, so if I was to rub my face right now um it stings um even when i wash my face i'm very careful and i'm drying patting dry with a towel and just using a gentle cleanser uh so i'm happy with these results i can say that these were anticipated i knew that this was going to happen this is what a retinol reaction looks like and when using a retinol this is what you want to see if you're spending a lot of money on products and you're using them on your skin and you're not getting a reaction, um, unfortunately, they're probably not doing anything. And this is the problem and the misconception, I think, with skincare is that you want skincare to make your skin feel comfortable and, and you want to feel good after. And that's fine. Um, but is it really helping you? And it's like going to the gym and walking on a treadmill for, you know, I don't know, half an hour and saying that's your workout. And the next day you're not sore and you feel fine, but in three months from now, have you really done anything to improve your body or have you just been spending time at the gym? Um, probably the latter, um, probably just spending time, but you're not really making an improvement. Um, now, if you go to the gym and you have a really difficult workout and you put in the effort, um, you're really sore the next day, uh, but over a period of three months, you notice a result. And it's the same way with skincare. You can put in the effort every day, but if you're not using those products that are actually working out your skin or um, or or pushing your skin to, to go to that, that next level and, and repairing and healing the skin, um, if you're not using the appropriate products, you're not going to get a result. So even though you're putting in the time, you're not really getting an outcome. Um, so I just wanted to spend some time explaining and showing what a retinal reaction looks like. Uh, I don't think it's anything to be afraid of. I think it's actually something to be really excited about. Um, this is something I've chosen to do and you don't have to push yourself to this point. I'm using eight pumps twice a day of a one of Zio's 1% uh, advanced radical night repair retinol. Typically you would use two pumps twice a week. So I'm using a ridiculously high amount. Um, this isn't what a typical protocol would call for. You typically wouldn't see a reaction this bad. Um, however, if you want to use this as a treatment, if you want to overhaul your skin, start fresh, um, really try and target some uh, certain areas of concern such as acne and uh, aging, um, pore size, 
this is a really good way to start. Um, but you can also see that this product's actually working, even if you're only using it as, um, as directed, so the twice a week, two pumps, this product is working um, and you will see a result. It's just gonna be a more gradual result. So I just wanted to show everyone um, how things are going. I have to say, I love this peel. I think it's amazing. I don't think there's anything else out there like this. And I will continue to um, show some finished results and uh, show what day five looks like because there's still more two more applications to go. Bye.